I'm Brandy. And I'm Gracie. And we're here with HTTV. And today is Halloween. Yeah, it is. So we got interviews with some of the elementary schoolers about their Halloweens and what they're going to be doing. So Again. here's that from Grace. Okay, today I am here with Preston Wolf, and let's see, Preston, what is your favorite part about Halloween? Candy. Getting the candy. I think that's kind of everyone's favorite part. Um, are you dressing up this year? Uh, yes, I'm going to be a hunter. Oh, that sounds like fun. Are you going to do some hunting then? We already did. Oh, you already did? So you went um, during the opening? Yeah, we went on Saturday. Did you get anything? No, because we kept missing shots. Oh, that's okay. I would, too. Um, and then do you have a favorite candy to get? Uh, Twix. Twix is really good. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, and now I am here with Eli. And Eli, do you have, um, like, what's your favorite part about Halloween? All the candy and trick-or-treating. Yeah, that's what Preston said, too. <laughs> um, let's see. Are you dressing up for Halloween? Yeah. Do you have any idea what you're going to be? No, not really. That's okay, you still have a little bit. Um, do you have any special plans for Halloween? Mm, no. No? Um, what's your favorite type of candy to get? Um, like Snickers and M&Ms and stuff. Awesome, thank you. Okay, and now I am here with Patrick Maynard. And Patrick, what is your favorite part about Halloween? Dressing up. Dressing up. Um, what are you dressing up as this year? Well, I'm going to be really scary, and like I'm going to have like... Um, like a Jared costume on, and then like a wig, and then a uh, old grandpa mask. That sounds really scary. Um, do you have any favorite houses that you like to go to to get candy? Are there any that you get really good candy from? I don't know. Um, what's your favorite type of candy to get? Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Let's see. Um. Do you have any special plans for Halloween? Like, are you going to go with any friends or your family or? I don't know. That's OK. Thank you. Thanks, Grace. And now on to volleyball. On October 20th, the volleyball girls played Silly Buttes, and they won 3-2. to two. And then on the 23rd, they played Westington Springs and won 3-1. to one. We got an interview with Coach Opp about what he thought about those games. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Opp. So I heard you guys had a game with Sully Buttes. How'd that go? Um, it went really well. We went out to Sully Buttes. Um, we ended up winning in five. Um, you look back at the match, we did a lot of nice things. Um, we got up 1 0 on them, and then Sully Buttes and kind of knocked us around in set two. I think it was like 25 to 12. And then in set three, it was 25 21. We were neck and neck. And then set four, we came out and knocked them. It was like 25 12, I believe. And then uh, fifth set was pretty exciting. We were down uh, 11 to 8. I used my second time out, and some somehow we end up winning 15-13. So, so um, it was a great win, first win over Sully Buttes in a long time for these girls. Yeah, congratulations. Um, so, how about Westington Springs? Um, you know, Westington Springs, I thought played outstanding against us Monday night. Um, obviously, we had a couple days off with, with school, and um, we came out kind of sluggish. I thought um, we won the game. I guess if if we could say that, we got to clean up some of our errors. But um, you know, it, it, a win's a win, so we'll take it. And then yesterday you guys played Northwestern. How was that? Uh, you know, you go up to Northwestern. It's first of all, it's a great atmosphere up at Northwestern. Great volleyball atmosphere. And then, um, you know, obviously they're number one in the state. They could be a lot of Class A schools, in, in my opinion. They can beat a lot of Class B schools, obviously. And uh, they showed us very handily why they're number one. Um, you know, I, I didn't think our girls played terrible. Um, we got quite a few blocks on them, and, and they showed us where our weak spots are. So we could fix that here, coming going into region play next week. And so tell me a little bit more about Regions. Yeah, um, we actually finished number three in our region, which, you know, I was thinking back how we started the season. I think we started two and eight. Um, and I want to say we probably won, I think I figured it out, we won 12 of the last 14 games. So for that quite for that ty type of turnaround for these girls, it's quite quite something to be number three in your region out of 11, 11 teams. Now, obviously, you could throw the rankings out when, when region play starts because three, four, five, and six are all pretty neck and neck. But, um, you know, we're looking at either they're playing James Valley and Iroquois, and right now I'm going to prepare for James Valley, obviously, next Tuesday night at Dubrook. All right, so thank you. Good, uh, good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Grace. We got interviews with some ag students. We were able to talk to three out of the five students who will be traveling to Oklahoma City for FFA Nationals. Here's those. Hello, I am here with Bailey Cole to talk about when they went to Westington Springs for FFA. 
Um, Bailey, for the team, where did the team place? The team got first. All right, and then as individual, where did you place? I got third as an individual, awesome. the best out of the team. Thank you. Yeah. All right, now I am with Zach Bigger. Zach, um, since you went qualified for nationals two years ago, how has that experience helped you this year? Um, just drove me to get back there because it was so much fun and got to spend time with my classmates and Mr. Brink, and it was just a good time. And you get to eat Brahms Dairy, which is the best food in the world. Okay, so, thank you. Thank you. Now I am here with Grant Hamilton. Grant, how many other teams do you think were there? There were eight teams. Okay, thank you. And lastly, we were able to get interviews with the senior football boys on how they felt that their last year as a high school football team went. I got some interviews with them. Here's those. All right, I'm here with the senior boys asking them about their final year at football. Okay, so first question is for Cole. How do you feel your senior year of football went? Well, going from a 0-8 season last year to a 4-4 four four season this year and making playoffs, I feel we did pretty good. All right, next question is for Zach. What was your favorite game and why? My favorite game was probably against Northwestern because the crowd was really into it, and they beat us last year, and it was just good to give them some payback and come out with a win. All right, Peyton, what was your least favorite game and why? My least favorite game was Warner because that's when I hurt my back and couldn't play anymore. Okay, fifth question. Do you want to play football in college, Caleb? Yes, uh, because it's always been my favorite sport since I was a little kid. All right, and Anthony, what do you think you could have worked uh, that anyone could have worked on this year? Uh, getting bigger, faster, and stronger as a team overall. And final question, Johnny, some advice to the f football players in the upcoming years? Uh, get in the weight room because it's going to pay off anyway. <coughs> we got injuries, so it's going to make your muscles stronger. Um, don't take it for granted because, uh, to me, it went by really fast, and I'm going to miss it because some of us don't get the opportunity to play college football. And build lots of camaraderie during the offseason. All right, you guys have anything else to comment? All right, Stay thank you. CHT. Signing off, I'm Brandy. And I'm Gracie. Stay classy. Hitchcock Cooler.